Well, you know, Del Marva Life is all about community. Well, that's your community too. So if there's something going on in your community, we would love to hear about it. If you have pictures, that's even better. Send your photos and details on the event our way along with any pictures you'd like to share. And you can reach us at comments at delmarvalife.com or like us on Facebook and share the info there. Do you know where Brian is on Delmarva? That's what we've been trying to figure out as usual. <laughs> <laughs> so here's what we know so far. This was the giveaway clue to me. It's unclear how the town got its name. Oh, that <laughs> narrowed it right down. But there's this clue, once home to a famous actor. So of course the big question is, where, where is, is Brian? Brian? Now here's what I'm thinking. Okay. I'm thinking that it's Robert Mitchum is the actor. Okay. Because I know he's from around here. Right. But I can't remember exactly where. Just take a guess. Take a while. I'm, I, I'm thinking it's Maryland. I'm thinking it's like north of Salisbury West, obviously. Uh-huh. I'm, I'm going to go Reliance. Reliance? I'm going to go okay. Reliance. Okay. I think you got the Robert Mitchum thing right. Right. And that bonus clue helped me with that because there's a restaurant called Mitchum's in Trap, Maryland. Oh. Brian? Who's more okay. right? <laughs> okay, Trap and Reliance. Well, I have to tell you, I was hoping one of you would get this right because I practically gave it to you with my bonus clue. Lisa, congratulations. If we take it to the map, you'll see that this afternoon I am in Talbot County in the town of Trap. Now, Trap sits right along Route 50 between Easton and Cambridge. And here's some history about the town. It began as a small crossroad sometime between 1750 and 1760. And it wasn't until 1856 that Maryland's General Assembly completed action on a bill that officially incorporated the town of Trap. Now, it's unclear exactly how the town got its name. Some believe it had to do with Trappist monks having a monastery here. Others claim it was because of the area's abundant wildlife, which made trapping for furs popular. Now, Major League Baseball Hall of Fame third baseman John Franklin Home Run Baker was born in Trap. And speaking of well-known people, well-known actor Robert Mitchum lived here in town for several years. In fact, the local steakhouse is named after him and the clue that gave it away for Lisa. Trap is also home to the Rural Life Museum, which showcases the history of the town and the population here in Trap sits right around 1100. So there you go, Lisa, congratulations. I'm glad you guys finally got one right. Well, at least 50% <laughs> of you got it right, but it still counts for something. I was close. You were close. I was close. He was close. You were. Geographically, you were kind of close, Jimmy, but still, you didn't get it right. And thank you for pointing that out. Close. <laughs> at, no cigar. You're welcome. Something about hand grenades and horseshoes. I'm not sure. But. <laughs> and I almost gave it to you, too, when you were telling me what you thought it was, and then I thought, nah. <laughs> you weren't going to do it, were I you? I wasn't going to do it. I'm just going to take that victory. Oh, my goodness. Wow. <laughs> well, thank you for watching Del Marvel Life. Be sure to join us tomorrow. We learned so much this week about sleeping disorders, how our sleeping patterns affect our weight, even how to help our kids get the rest they need. Well, tomorrow we focus on different solutions to sleep problems so you can start catching those much needed Z's. She is a four time Emmy nominated actress. But did you know that while she was making others laugh, she was suffering great heartache. Patricia Richardson is going to join us to share her story of losing her father, the battle that he faced and why she's encouraging others to be in the know. Well, where you're from and where you end up can sometimes be worlds apart and all that happens in between here is your journey. We'll meet three women with three amazing stories and learn how their journeys led them to one place. Well, let's talk about journeys for just a second. Delmarva native Harriet Tubman, known for making several journeys along the Underground Railroad, leading slaves to freedom. Now, her life and the stories of those from her time are now being brought to life on the midshore. Also tomorrow we continue our journey to connect you to the many cats and dogs on Delmarva <laughs> that need a loving home. Brian will introduce us to a few more fuzzy faces that would love to be part of your family. And a 14 year old local singing sensation you remember when she was here before, Sarah Ann Garrison is coming back. She'll be taking the Delmarva Life stage once again in Historic Studio D. And don't forget, if you missed any of today's information, just visit DelmarvaLife.com. Delmarva Life, life at its best here on Delmarva. Now, don't go anywhere. WBOC News at 6 starts right now.